everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Ariel and I am the owner of Airy Bay Sticker Shop. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about some of my favorite pens and stationery items. Again, I've been buying a lot um, recently these past few months. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about these two pouches that I have. I have here the Hobonichi drawer pouch. This is in the Memoria um, design and then I do also have this other pouch which I purchased a while ago on um, AliExpress and it is very similar to this one and I like using both of them so um, why don't I get started. Uh, so I think I'm going to start with this drawer pouch first. Let me move this one to the side. Um, but I seriously really love these drawer pouches from Hobonichi. I think they are such good quality and of course I really like the fabrics that they use. This fabric is the Memoria fabric and I'm very happy that I purchased this because I think it's just so pretty and classy. So as you can see in this pouch, there are a lot of pockets here, which you can put a lot of pens uh, and other things, and then you also have a zipper compartment. Um, I guess I'll start over here on this side because um, it is the side that I use the most because it's easy grabbing. Um, in the back here, I do have um, a lot of these Sarasa, um, Zebra Sarasa clip pens. These are in the vintage colors. Um, I've been using a lot of these in my Hobonichis, especially in my dailies. I mentioned this before in previous videos, but I use um, my daily pages in my Hobonichi Cousin as sort of like a journaling uh, section about my day. That's usually where I write um, some of the big decision-making things that I am doing for my sticker shop and for other personal things, uh, and I write a lot in my dailies. Sometimes I do put to-do lists and uh, reflections in there, but for the most part it is a lot of journaling. And lately, I have been using a lot of these Sarasa Vintage pens. I think they're really pretty. Uh, the colors are very nice, and I think I bought a pack of two, so I have some in this pouch. I have some currently tucked away in my um, Hobonichi in the pen loops, and then I also have some in um, the other pouch that I'm about to show you. Uh, but as you guys can see here, um, I do have this red one, which I really like currently. Um, in the April monthlies right now, the color of the grid is sort of like a ready color, so that's why I like using one of these, or this one which is like a burgundy color, which I have currently in my day free. Um, but I just keep all of the other colors in here, so I have this really pretty purple, some browns, um, I also really like this uh, sort of like mustardy golden color, or I think it's called caramel. I really like this color, so I put them in here so I can grab them um, easily and it's not in the way, scattered around my desk. I do also have my favorite green fountain pen here. This is a um, Lamy Safari. This pen was from the 2019 collection and I really like this pastel color. And I do currently have a green ink in here, which I sometimes use uh, in my journal. I haven't been using it as much because I've been using this pink fountain pen instead with a pink ink that I purchased a while ago. I just think it looks really cute with all of my pink journals here, which is my Weeks and my um, A6 here. So my green fountain pen sits in here, uh, and sometimes I like to journal with it in my cousin, so that's why it's in here. I do also have clipped on a Bic pencil here. I'm not really sure the name of it because everything is rubbed off on it, but I clip it into the side here, and I also have a few other pens in this middle pocket as well. Uh, this one is my favorite Uniball Signo retractable pen. I use that a lot in my Cousin Weeklies. And then um, this is my favorite um, Pentel brush pen. I did repurchase this Pentel brush pen. It is my all-time favorite, and I think it works really well in the week size as well as the A6, which is uh, what I mainly use it for. It's beginning to streak a little bit, and you can tell that the nib is getting a bit dry, so I purchased another one of these, and um, I stuck it in here so when I need to journal or if I need to make a title, I will use that. Um, in the very, very back here, I do have some of these Daiso um, transparent sticky notes. I kept them in here, but I'm not sure if I'm going to use them because these are really hard for me to get. I think I got them in Happy Mail because um, there is no Daiso here in Canada, so... I might have to go look for somewhere else to see if they might have them. Um, I do have other vellum sticky notes or translucent sticky notes from Rose Color Days, uh, but I keep those in here just in case I want to write a note. Uh, for a little bit of added decoration, I do have this crochet bow clip, uh, which I thought was the perfect color to put in here, and then on this 
small pocket at the bottom. I do have a few clips and then an eraser tucked in here because um, I have that pencil. Um, this magnetic clip here is from Hello Paper Cats. I do have a 15% off coupon if you're interested in using it. It's down below in the description box. Um, this one is just here for mainly decoration because I thought it looked cute in here. And then this is the um, actual clip that I use to clip down my pages when I'm writing. On the other side of the drawer pouch, you can see there is a zippered compartment. And actually on the inside of this, there is an elastic where you can stick some of your pens in. I only have three in here right now because these are the pens that I'm using the most and these ones I kind of use less of or I just want to keep on hand just in case. Uh, so in this pocket, I have a gray mild liner, a pink Muji pen, and then um, I can't remember this where this one is from, maybe Miniso? But I just keep these in here just in case I might need them and I just tuck them behind that elastic. And then I do have some extra seals here. The pens on this side over here are definitely some of my go-to pens. They are kind of like my ride or die. I really like these uh, two pens up front and then um, I really like having all of the different color choices that the Sarasa Vintage clips have. I have a few more colors that I'll show you in my other pencil case in a little bit. But there is one more uh, thing that I wanted to show you in this pouch. So in the very back of this pouch, there is a really um, long pocket, which is where I keep some notepaper. So I think this one is from uh, cloth and paper, and it literally fits perfectly inside this pocket. And then I just made this little um, sticky note dashboard almost. I decided to use some leftover laminating paper, and I cut it down and rounded the corners, and then I just added some of these Kiki K post-it notes that I might want to use. Um, I really like the sizing of some of these, so I've been using these a lot uh, just for quick notes. Luckily, the colors of this collection matches my drawer pouch as well, so um, I'm happy to keep those inside there. So those are some of my favorite pens that I've been using in here, uh, and I keep that on my desk. And then I also do have this other pouch, which I use um, alongside my Hobonichi Dayfree. So I showed you earlier that I have been using my Dayfree planner here. I have a few things inside of the pockets, and I do have a pen clipped inside here. Sometimes I also use a fountain pen. Uh, but this is the pouch that I keep with my A6 because I do um, like to decorate it a little bit more. I first showed this pouch a few months ago. Um, I tried finding the link for it again, but it's currently sold out or not available anymore, which is a little bit unfortunate because I really do like this pouch. The color is sort of like this peachy uh, nudie color, uh, and the reason why I like it is because I can fit full length Tombows in here. So these Tombow dual brush pens are really really long and I'm having a hard time finding a pencil case for it. Thankfully they fit in here in the very back pocket. I originally tried to put this Tombow marker in the very back pocket of my drawer pouch, but unfortunately it doesn't fit, or not at least in this size. Uh, but for some reason in this one um, it does. So. That's why I'm currently using this, because I'm using my brush pens in my A6 Day Free. So over here you can see I do have a few brush pens. I recently just purchased these two colors because I thought they were pretty. Uh, this one is 772, which is a blush color, and then a 942, which is the tan, or light tan. Um, I really like these two colors lately, and I've been using them a lot in my Day Free. Um, right next to those, I do have a few more of the vintage Sarasas. As you can see, these are more of the blue colors. Um, the colors that I gravitate towards are more of like the ready purplies, which is why they're currently in my planner, but I wanted to keep some of those in here as well. So as you guys can see, the format of both this pencil case and then this drawer pouch from Hobonichi is very similar. They both have um, pockets on this side and then a mesh zippered section on this side. Uh, the only thing that I'm really missing here um, between the two models is that um, the Hobonichi drawer pouch has that one more um, compartment or pocket at the bottom here, whereas this one doesn't. In this pocket, I just decided to add a few more like longer things, and then I just clipped on this sticker die cut from my shop. These are available in my shop right now, by the way. So this is one of my favorite designs, so that's why I like having it clipped here, and surprisingly, it fits perfectly in this section. In this long pocket, I do have various sticky notes that I want to use. So I have this one from Paper Echoes, which I really like. Um, it is just very simple. And then these are some vellum sticky notes from Rose Color Days. I have a few more of these on my desk, but I wanted to keep some uh, in this pocket as well. Uh, and because I do have these 
uh, vellum sticky notes. Sometimes I can't always use my favorite gel pens on them, so I do have a few of these. Uh, these are the Sakura um, Micron pens. So this one is a regular Micron pen. Um, I bought this in a set, I think. This one is the 05, which I prefer. Um, I used to have loads of these when I was in school because I used to study design and I used these pens when I was drafting out um, architectural uh, drawings. I did also purchase the permanent version of these pens, which is the Microperm. This one is in the 05 as well. I think that these permanent pens work the best on um, these vellum sticky notes. I did also purchase a permanent Pentel Energel pen as well, which um, I do still like, but I think that these uh, felt tips work a lot better. So these are also currently my go-tos uh, for my A6 Day Free. This one is sort of more for my cousin, uh, which I keep next to it, so that's why I do have them separated. Another different thing about this pouch is that it does have this little D-ring that is in the middle here. Um, I think you can use it to attach your keys or something like that, but uh, because this is just a pencil case for me, I just added a few charms. So I really like this rainbow charm, I think is really cute, and then I have one of these uh, washi holders or washi cutter keychains uh, from Paper Echoes. I think I do have another one of those um, post-it note dashboard thingies in the back here, yep. Um, I made another one of these for some other sticky notes, some longer ones, and those are tucked in the back for extra notes. In this zippered pocket, I have a few more pens that I uh, use a little bit less than the ones in here, like um, the one that I've shown you in this one. Um, I do have this cute Elodie pin from Hello Paper Cat that is pinned into the mesh. Um, I just thought it was cute and I had it there for uh, many years now, so I just haven't moved it. Uh, but in here, like I said, I have a bunch of pens. Uh, let me take some of them out. I have a few Muji pens here, so these are some of my favorite cap gel pens in two of my favorite colors. I always used to write in these um, because I really like the colors. And then I also have this retractable pen here. I am currently out of the black, but I still have some purple and pink in here. I have a pen here that I got from Rose Color Days. Uh, this one does not work on the vellum sticky notes. And I find that it is a little bit big, but I think it's just nice in case someone needs to borrow a pen. <laughs> Um, so I just keep that in here uh, for other people to use it. I do have the red Hobonichi pen from last year in here. I have a blue mild liner and then two of my other Pentel brush pens in two different colors. I rarely use the black, which is why it's in this pencil case. But just in case I need um, a black pen, I have it here. I do want to use it a little bit more, so that's why I put it uh, back in here with my other ones. Maybe I can stick these guys in here so I can grab them a lot faster and then I'll put these guys in here. Oh, I just noticed that one more thing that is in this pouch is a little exacto knife. I almost forgot about this guy, uh, but this is a small little Ulfa touch knife. Uh, sometimes I use this to um, cut washi or some other like papers and stuff like that when I don't have scissors. Um, I still haven't purchased scissors to put into any of my pouches, but I just keep this one in here because it is cute and portable. So those are all of my favorite pens that I'm currently using and how I have it set up currently in two of my pen pouches. I really like how both of these are currently set up. Uh, it's very functional for me and they're quite easy to use in um, my Hobonichi planners. I do also use these pens in my ring planners as well, uh, minus the brush pens because I don't use those in there. But the regular pens like the Sarasas and um, my Signo uh, DX here, I do use them in my ring planners as well because I think they work well on regular paper. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching uh, me talk about some of my favorite um, pens and stationery. Thank you so much for sticking around these past few months. I promise to put out a lot more uh, things on this YouTube channel, including a few uh, flips and more uh, plan with me's if you guys like it. But I think I'm going to wrap it up today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!